All right, how's it going, y'all? So this is gonna be a really quick video about a really cool new feature that Synology just finally announced the pricing for and everything. And it's something I've been really excited about for a while because it's kind of been something a lot of clients have asked me for specifically. And I think it actually came out at a really good price point. And so what this new feature does, it allows you to, for a pretty cheap price, back up all of your security cameras or whichever ones you want to, to the Synology C2 cloud. The way it works is with the basic plan, the only time footage is ever sent to the cloud is if something happens, which is probably exactly what you want. You don't want a terabytes of storage up there not doing anything because nothing's happening. No, instead, as soon as a motion event is detected, it sends up all that footage at full frame rate to the cloud. And there's different levels you can do it, but it's been finally unveiled now and I'm definitely gonna do some videos in it. What really surprised me was the pricing of it though. The pricing, is actually really solid. So for a single security camera, and right now it's at a 20% discount, it's actually free to use by the way, till I think October this year. But right now, without discount, it's gonna be nine bucks a year per camera for the most basic plan. Probably what I would recommend most people have. You get 720p of any motion events, and they're stored up to seven days. For the vast majority of people, Anytime something happens, you're probably gonna know it within seven days. So you can just go on and download everything immediately. One thing I did wish they have, and I hope they do add, is a button of incident happened. That as long as you press it like less than once or twice a year, it's free. But if you press that, it just freezes all the storage that you've had in the past seven days or 30 days if you've got the 30 day plan. And it keeps it for a few months or lets you just download the thing by bulk. That way, if something does happen and your NAS gets stolen with all of the hard drives and all of the footage of your security cameras, you have seven days and more than seven days to actually go through and do that. But as it stands now, just download everything. Like You would just want it in the case where if something did happen, you would want to make sure you didn't accidentally lose anything because how bad would it be if your security camera footage got rotated out before you were actually able to go ahead and download it all. But then there's also a 1080 plan that gives you 30 days good for some people, but it's a lot more. And then finally, there is an advanced version that actually has a continuous setup. I I don't get that. I mean, if you really need it, maybe it's for like your front door. And I mean, 25 bucks a year is not that bad. But what it does is it stores a frame every 10 seconds. So you can kind of time lapse it and see exactly what was happening leading up to that. For 25 bucks a year for like one or two really crucial cameras, I can see it being worth it for businesses. But for most people, probably not worth it. Personally, for me, I'm probably going to do my front door at the basic one, just, just because that's most likely where something's gonna happen, maybe front door, back door. And that way, if your NAS does get stolen that has all the security camera footage in there, it's not that bad. And so this new feature is part of the Surveillance Station 9 upgrade, so you have to be running that. But I'm really excited to try this out. I think it's got a lot of good things here, and it's even free to use until October 31st. So I would definitely check it out and try it out, but it's probably gonna be buggy, that's why it's free. It's gonna be pretty good. I think it's got a lot of good features here, and I'm really excited for them to finally add this into their portfolio, and the price they hit was, I think, very respectable. Less than a dollar a month for a camera is a very good deal, in my opinion, for this, and it really gives you that peace of mind and lets you just choose those really crucial cameras, lets you back those up to the cloud so you know they're always safe in case something does happen. So overall, I think that's gonna be an awesome feature for a lot of people to set up. And the other thing they just announced recently was this new deep learning in VR that I'm definitely about to do a video on as well. All right, well, that's it for this video. Go ahead and leave any other things you'd like me to check out with Synology in the comments below. And have a good one, bye.